guys. Uh, we're going to continue our farm theme and we're going to be drawing a sheep today. This one's super easy. Um, so we'll work on some shading details. First, we're going to start in the very center of the page with our eyes. And our circles are about the size of a dime. And then we always do our, our circles in the top corners. Those are our highlights. All right, so instead of a mouth, what we're going to do is I want you to do a very soft U shape right here. So it kind of looks like a smiley face. So right now, if you didn't know what we were drawing, you would say, oh, it's the whole, the paper's smiling at me. And then from there, you're going to come, actually, we'll leave it like that. We're going to draw a U shape, a big U shape. We're going to come from up above, down, and around. So now we have a smiley face. Now, what makes this a little different is we're going to come right in the middle of where our smile is and go straight down. That makes our little U shape. All right, and then from here, we're going to do our ears. So we're going to do a curve line coming this way, and we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Curve line coming up, and then we'll connect it in. Just like that. Then we'll go and we'll connect the two lines together. And that is our sheep's head. Now we're going to draw the body. And the body is fluffy like a, cl like a cloud. So we're just going to draw bumps. Oops, I did not draw any bumps over here. And remember, like I said, you just, when you make any mistakes, just keep drawing. You can be a little lumpy, a little lopsided. That's fine. All right. Now we're going to get down to the feet, and we are going to make a very deep U shape right here. And then next to it, another U shape. And then a small U shape, about the same size as this one. Right here. See how I made a mistake and I just kept going? And then another one about right here. All right, and then we need to do our feet. So those are the front and back feet. All right, so now it's time you can go back. We finished drawing all the basics and we can fix our mistakes. I'm going to make mistakes too. As you can see, my eraser is almost gone. Alright, and that is the basics of drawing a cute little sheep. Very simple, this one. Alright, now I'm going to do some coloring. I'm going to teach you how to do some shading with crayons. Now, sheeps are kind of a grayish, tannish color. And you can use your pencil if you don't have a gray crayon or, or a gray color pencil. And we're just going to lightly color the whole face. Just make sure you don't color. I color it over my mouth, which is fine. Just don't color over your eyes. You might need to turn your paper sideways. And again, if you don't have gray, your pencil will work fine. Then again, this is also your artwork. And if you don't want your sheep to be gray, don't make them gray. That's fine. All right, now if you have a red or a pink, we're gonna use that, we're gonna make some cheeks. Red will work just as well. Okay, now we want to do some shading. And again, I always like my sun coming from this direction. It can be whichever direction you want it to be. But I'm going to kind of outline this. I think I'm going to outline the whole thing in marker. And 
No, I'm gonna outline it all in crayon, just make it easy. I'm gonna go over my eyes. And then I wanna trace over the circle inside. You're more than welcome to do this in color pencil or marker. Marker is harder to shade. If you're going to do it with marker and you have color pencils, I recommend um, coloring the whole thing one color and then going back and using your color pencils to shade. All right, now I am just going to add some shade right in here. Mm. Heck, I want to put a bow. I'm going to draw it. I'm going to color that with red in a minute. Right now I'm going to color the inside of my eyes. And you know, if you wanted to make it a little different and didn't want the eyes to be all black, you could probably do a blue. I think a blue would probably work with this and look really cute. Or brown. Again, like I said, I put a bow on mine. You could put a baseball cap on yours. You could put a business tie, a necklace, however you want to do it. All right, now I'm going to outline my fluff. And outlining is something you want to do sometimes for your work, but not for others. Um, in this case, it works really well because it also covers up any pencil mistakes we made. Outline the feet, and I'm going to go back over those with gray. Now I want to do some light shading on my sheep. I don't want to use the black because the black would be too intense. Um, again, so at this point, you if you don't have a gray color pencil or a gray um, crayon, I would use your pencil. And just lightly color in there. And the sheep's fur is white or wool is white, so we don't want to color too much. And then I am going to lightly color over the whole foot, all the feet. I'm just going to really cover my pencil mistake. Now I want to do some shading on the feet, so I'm going to take my black. I'll come around this way because the feet are round, this gives it a rounder effect. But this side's going to be darker because our sunlight's coming from that way. And then our back foot's going to have a lot more shading because it's behind. We want it to look like it's further behind. There we go, and now I want to color my bow. Okay, so I have a sheet that's just kind of standing out in the middle of nowhere. So I need to add a background. Now you could do a straight background, like it's, like, like it's standing on flat ground, or you could do a hill. Um, 
I'm gonna do a straight one for this. I like to use my darker green. And here's a trick if you want your lines to match up. Pick up your crayon and pretend like you're drawing. And then I like to do tufts of grass. I like to press down hard so these come out really dark. And then I'm going to color the rest of it lightly um, with, let me do it with a lighter green first. If you have a lighter green, you can do that. If not, just stick with the green you have. And you see, I have my hand turned to the side. I'm not pushing down full force. Um, some of your other crayon may smear. That's fine. That happens. Not a big deal. Now I'm going to take my darker green and do the same thing. And you could do this if you have like a bunch, like if you have this 24 pack, there are three color greens in there. You could do it with all three. And that way any spot you miss it has a higher chance of getting covered. Now when we do more on shading, you'll learn that you also have to do a shadow off of your animal or object because that casts a shadow too, but we're not going to worry about that today. Alright, and then let's see here. You can do a barn in the background. I'm going to do a hill. Say there's a hill there and do more grass. And I'll go back and I'll color just like I did that. And again, just like I've talked about, you can be adding whatever crazy details you want. It is your choice because it is your drawing. I'm going to add a little barn. Start with a straight line. I'm going to do the little silo. I'm going to do a triangle because it's going to be off in the distance. And big barn doors. You see the gray I colored my pencil. Yeah, the gray that I colored my pencil is about as dark as the gray crayon. And you can even get it darker. Do that line right there. I'll color my barn red. It's kind of a pinkish red, but that's okay. Do a barn door or a barn window right here. Do the roof. And then my silo is just kind of gray. And you can add in a bunch of other details, whatever you like to do. Um, one of my favorites, if I'm just, if I feel like there's too much empty space, is I like doing little uh, birds. But there's tons of stuff you could do. Uh, you could do a cornfield over in this hill. They just kind of look like tall flowers. And that's our sheep. Can't wait to see y'all. Have a great day.